So have we just bought the cheapest 500 a bath in the UK? I feel like this is um, the worst thing he's bought so far. And then I go. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Felix. How are you? I'm fine. Do you want to go on the Amazon? Amazon? In the Amazon? What about all the animals? I don't know. There you go. It's going to be the intro for the test. Is it? Is this the, this ain't the tester one? We basically we've got <laughs> we've been in talks with King Bolden and hopefully um, Nancy's going to send us out. <laughs> oh God. Hopefully Nancy's going to send us out a K7. So we're going to be doing a full review on that uh, on that diagnostic scan tool mm -hmm. as soon as it arrives. Nice. Right. So what are we doing now, then, Felix? We're moving my toolbox out the van. Oh, okay. No so, sweater, by the way. Do you like that? Yeah, it's guaranteed tough, isn't it? Guaranteed tough? You ripped yours straight away? No, that's uh, the one that didn't say guaranteed tough. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was saying that. I bought Rory a bow, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I went down the buckle, Scott. Already? <laughs> you ripped the buckle off. Right, so I'm editing the video today for Friday's video. A um, little bit rushed, but fingers crossed it'll turn out all right. It's one of them. Uh, it's uh, basically the, well you've seen it anyway, by the time you've seen this, you've already seen it, the auction video. If you haven't seen it already, go back one and you'll see that looking for motorhomes and possibly caravans. Anyway, over to Sarah with Holy. I'm going to start the day off with a energy drink. Sponsored by Holy. Which one are you having? I'm having a citrus cobra. 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 Citrus cobra. Citrus co cobra. So is that like down. a lime or something? I think it's lemon and lime. Lemon and lime. Yeah. Give it a shake yeah, then. And give it a shake. Do the taste test. The lid's not on, by the way. I know, Greg. Imagine that. Don't worry about that. So it's going to be citrus kind of day today. nice Point around it, I'm only bouncing off the walls in a bit okay let's see what happens don't forget if you want some money off you can use the code valley 10 which will give you 10% off Hello. Something in my eye. could you please take a picture of my hand I need you to take a picture of my hand because I need it for the thumbnail but I'm holding my phone on the BCA website. Oh, I see what you mean. Do you see what I'm saying? You got me worried a little bit there. Right, that you've got a hand fetish. I thought you was back on the OnlyFans again. I've never been on the OnlyFans, Greg. It's how lies. Here we are, reviewing the van for Greg. Well, it's not really a review, it's got a light on the dash. Um, and the handbrake doesn't work, so we're going to have a look at it. But we've got a... Um, Test drive the asses to review it. That's a start. <laughs> Absolutely quality. Oh. oh, nice one, Greg. I love the contemporary design in here. I know, yeah, it's nice. There we go. Oh. For a start, we've already figured out. Second. We've already figured out. This, so, load fashion for no oil. <laughs> Glow plug load on. Service load on. Let's have a look. See if we can do anything here. 184,000 miles. What are you complaining about? There's no actual seat. The seat is just a metal frame. Can't get the seat belt on. I feel like this is um, the worst thing he's bought so far. I don't think I have a seatbelt. Oh, very good. <laughs> this is the wing mirror. How's it been so far? Terrible. <laughs> he's got like a, it's like a bathtub knob to open the window. Oh. <laughs> you can see the beautiful pitch. We'll I can tell you that much tracking's out. 
Jack, it's out that strain. It's got no horn! It's got no horn! <laughs> <laughs> One of the indicators is out as well. A very road worthy vehicle. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is jokes to drive. So here to an extra review. This car, uh, sorry, this van is rather terrible. <laughs> it's got lights on the dash. Um, reason we're test driving is because he said after a while it goes into like limp mode or something. Um, I don't know. This van's about as slow as it can get. Uh, <laughs> the back tipper works though, so I guess that's why he's keeping it. As you can see now, we're approaching a roundabout, so we see the handling abilities in a sec. Uh, I think it's got dual wheel rear axle, so the bump should be a breeze. <laughs> on, indicate left. Go now. Whew. Yeah, it handles like a sports car. Is there a problem with the handbrake? You reckon? Oh yeah, it does nothing. We're rolling backwards. Oh, it doesn't have a handbrake. There's a slight problem with the handbrake. <laughs> oh, look at that. We're in Bromsgrove. Welcome to Bromsgrove, people. There is a learner driver here. Usually in this situation, you would honk the horn. It don't have a horn. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go to Starbucks at the tipper? <laughs> Received the wipe as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, screen wash. How's it feeling after five minutes? All right. I wouldn't trust it to drive to like Western Superman or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that much. Or even one junction on the M5. <laughs> no, not a chance. I probably have four wheels far enough. Um. I don't know what else to say about this. It's there's not much to it, is there? We've got a mirror missing. Yeah. No mirror there. That always improves the visibility. Yeah, always helps out. We've got this mirror here, which does about as much as Rishi Suna. A <laughs> <laughs> um, handle. The... Yeah, the oh shit handle when you drive too fast. <laughs> I ain't got one here. I've got one here. Oh. I'll tell you now, uh, they don't favour the driver. Yeah. Nice armrest. Uh, Greg has kindly done some um, material work on himself. You know, that's how he learned how to do it yeah, on the sales pitch. Yeah, he's restored them, ready for, as, ready if, they for were, as if they were new. Yeah. yeah. He's been having sweets. Huh? He's been eating sweets in there. Oh, and then he complains about his cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> See that, Greg? We found out. We found out, Greg. We found the source. We're surprised there's no more Mackey's wrappers in here. <laughs> Speaking of cheeky Mackey's. <laughs> Ten and Sarah, you got the salad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's some sort of issue with the gears, you know. It wouldn't, surp huh? it wouldn't surprise me. There's a problem with everything now. <laughs> it's supposed to be a positive review. Oh. Would I get a Renault Master Tipper van? Especially Greg's Simple one. answer, no. We're here in Lifford Lane, the tip, and this is usually where a tipper would go in it. Yeah. Now, why, and I'd like you to leave this in the video, Greg, why are the roads that narrow? I know, and why do I come here on a Saturday and not put anything in the tip? Steep hill. Yeah. Look at that right over the top. Terrible, absolute terrible sign by Birmingham City Council. Alright, we just found a little small problem few more. There's a constant grinding noise coming from the van, <laughs> which doesn't help it. There is, the door only opens from the inside, the passenger one. Yeah, my door doesn't open. There's no cup holders. All in all, give it four out of ten. Cheers. Where is he? Is he going to poke his head out? There he is. I'm 18. Huh? I'm 18. Yeah, that doesn't distract from the fact that, you know, what the fuck's going on with your hair? Top <laughs> Top knot. There's a big sandwich in my <laughs> Right, 
Right, so it's Wednesday. It is. What's the time? Wednesday. No, I said what's the time? Oh, nine minutes past nine four. Nine minutes past four. We're just going to head down to auction. There is something a bit special that's popped up. There are a couple that we're going to just have a quick look at. But as you can tell by the thumbnail, it is a Fiat a Bath. Now, could this possibly be the cheapest Fiat a Bath in the UK at the minute? It probably will be because it's 264,000 miles. This is some, not something that we're probably going to retail. It would either be, depending on the price, if we bought it, it would either be a trade deal or we'd buy it for parts, depending on the condition, um, because there is value in the body kit and a few other little bits and bobs that are on there that the normal Fiat 500 doesn't have. Uh, and there is a value to the bits. So let's see, they put all down to price. But let's before we price. buy any car, we always do a vehicle school check. And should we do it now or should we do it when we get there? Do it now if you want. All right. So in this instance, it's given us a score of 537 over 999. It is you less compliant. 8 of 999, not over 999. 8 out of? You said over. Okay, we'll see what I said. 37 over 999. So the advisories last year were tyre, right. shock absorber, tyre and front brake discs. So let's get down there and have a look. So first up, what we got? 4K63 plate with 90, just under 96,000 miles in red. Are you doing a tire check? Yeah. Have you brought your tool? It's in my coat. Where's your coat? I left it in the office. I left it up in the office because it was blue. It's not a good enough excuse, is it really? Uh -huh. I didn't say it was an excuse. You said, where is it? I said, it's in my coat in the office. Mm -hmm. Tires good. I think they're like four new tires, huh? Yeah. A little bit of lack of peel over here. As you can see. Mm. A little bit of scuff down here. Nothing major, nothing. Just down there. Yeah, nothing. Not the end of the world, is it? What's the interior like? Mm. Uh, Yeah, a few stones and that on the seats, needs a good clean. Yeah, it don't look too bad, does it, for its miles? No. There's a bit of a dent there. And a... Oh, yeah, a bit of a dink there. Someone's opened the door and gone. Oh. <laughs> You've done it again? I've done it my head. Um, I've got my on today, everyone. Mm -hmm. No pyjamas, though. I never wear my pyjamas. Got a bit of a low tire on this one. Well, it looks low, anyway. Could I <laughs> keep the car over. Let's have a quick look underneath. Put on first inspection. Exhaust looks okay. Not the best, but okay. And no real corrosion. <laughs> Oh well. So? Yeah. Quick tire check from Sarah. Not bad. Tires are good. Tires don't look bad, do they? No, they're alright. What's the inside like? Uh, car. It's got car. Yeah. <laughs> it's got like bucket seats, kind of. Um, like racing seats. It's got the hole where normally you'd put a harness through. Oh through yeah, it hasn't got the, the standard. 
Around one, five inches. No, it's all in one, all in one seat. So yeah, Doors it's got that. Right. Handles all okay. Is this like carbon? Yeah, carbon effect. I don't know where it's it carbon. Well. It's just just a carbon sticker in it, but oh, yeah. sets it off. Mm. Yeah. Don't know whether these are standard wheels, but I kind of suit the car. Yeah, it's, it's got a few issues with the bottom, it needs a massive polish either way. Chipping the windscreen. Chipping the windscreen. Couple actually. Couple of chips in the windscreen. And it's got like a separate... Talking of chips, are you hungry? Oh, I am hungry actually. Uh, it's got a gauge on there, on there, on the dash. I'm not sure how these work, but is that a boost gauge for the turbo? Maybe. Or it could be a separate rev counter, I'm not sure. So, uh, what are you thinking? Not really so sure. All down oh, to price. Did you see that? Oh, we've never seen that <laughs> on the last one, did we? No. All right, let's take a look around this one first. You're like a magnet to these, isn't you? It's not. It's not, but this is looks like a sport. Oh, oh it's got the seats. No, not a twin air. No, we're not keen on twin airs. We've got bad experience. It's just only for the fact that we bought one and it took us that long to sell. Um, we haven't bought another one. It's 1.2 actually. Oh no, it's not a twin air. So, yeah, so it's just a sport then I reckon. Just done a quick check on this. Yeah, using. Vehicle score. Hello. Vehicle score. It's a mini. <laughs> it's a mini? It's a mini. You Obviously know why? Obviously it's got the private reg on. They took <laughs> yeah. it off of them, took the plates off. No. It's got more made up, haven't they? Yeah. It's obviously come with no love so book. This is a lovely Mini and it's got top marks 999. Well, the Mini might be, yeah, because it's probably brand new by the looks of it. It's a three. Huh? The Mini. 23? Yeah, 23. Yeah, well, there you go then. That's why it's got a 999. They're it hasn't even had an MOT yet. They're, moving, they're obviously <laughs> Partex this one in yeah. for a new Mini. The what? This one over here. Fiat? Yeah, let me just go back up. I think it's a Sport. Um, NCJ. How will we know if it's a sport? I'll tell you if it's a sport. Because it's got the privacy glass. So that's a sport. The pop star. It says it's a 2012 1.2 litre petrol red. Yeah. So it's not going to tell you the, the model. No, but it's um, MOT history. It passed in April 2024. So it's got MOT till April 2025 and there's no advisories for the past. Since 2021. Yeah, nice car. It's a little doggy. Hello. Hello, little, little doggy. doggy. Woof. Right, so let's see what else we've got in here tonight. Uh, there's not a fat lot, to be honest. There's only about 35 lots. There is. What's this one? Oh, this is a hybrid. No, I'm not interested. Fiesta. 100, nearly 109,000 miles. Are we interested? Probably not. Um, that's been through a few times for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it hasn't met the reserve. Uh, and that is about it for what we're interested in, isn't it? Yeah, this is uh, one of them. What's it called? Eco Boost. What's that? What's what? That one in the middle. Yeah, that one. I'm not really a fan of the Adams, but that looks quite nice. I like the colour. Adam's family? Yeah, have you watched it? Yeah. Now, you, you just told me off camera that you pretend to be the hand sometimes. Yeah, on my desk. And then I go.
we decided to have a last minute go on this 2012 Ford Fiesta with 109,000 miles on the clock. So have we just bought the cheapest 500 a bath in the UK? I believe so. Right, what we're going to do, we've also, as you know, won the KA. There's a few little bits to do with that. Travel MOT on this. There's no MOT on the bath, but we haven't bought it for that reason. We'll tell you more about that tomorrow morning when we get in the office. Oh, good morning. Well, what can we say about last night? Apart from wow. Um, 3,500 a bar. It's got spaceship miles on, but 1412 pound including fees how can you how can you not buy that 1412 quid it's got everything on you want you get more than that for the kit that's on it so what i want to do now is i want you to tell me in the comments do we break it and sell it for spares do we trade it on or do we try and retail it now bear in mind i don't know what's wrong with it i've only drove it back from the auction back to here i think there's an engine mount, maybe possibly gone. Uh, back brakes are sticking on a little bit. It's going to want a service. Um, it's had a cam belt, so that's that's a, a bonus there. Uh, but it will want for a few jobs. So let us know in the comment. Brake, trade, or retail, and we'll see you on the next one.